March 7th, 2022. I'm watching the television and <clears throat> um, this is the problem with uh, at Language Lab. Um, the children in New York um, for Big Brother and Little Brother, Little Sister talking to the same familial line. Um, there was gas knocked out of service somewhere in Brooklyn. I'm sure that the sports book and betting kids know. Um, however, it's news to me when it hits the tele or the television. Television. Um, so there's a gentleman who claims to be the borough president from Brooklyn. He's on my fish island. I don't know how he got to be Brooklyn's president, but he claims to be something called Pakistani. Now this is interesting because they're knocked out of gas, G-A-S. Later on in the program, they talk about boycotting Russian Oil, O-I-L. It's the same thing. They also refer to it as gas prices. I know this is the problem with having so much multi-nation inside my rock, paper, scissors, neat and tidy order. And then they're communicating with one another and causing wars and genocide. So now... I showed earlier a map of the corona pandemic, the affected areas, um, northeast coast being one of them, mainland Europe and eastern Europe being another, um, for really dangerous, whatever, blood-borne disease. Um, and then there's these business office incidentals that happened to coincide. I didn't realize who was running the borough of Brooklyn until they turned the gas service off and then they wanted a voice on the news and then all of a sudden it was like, oh, because nobody informs me. Even though I'm on Fish Island again, I said earlier this morning, girl with the pearl earring, a known reincarnate, a known person with X-Men differentials and like references and a bunch of whole a whole bunch of others and there's some kind of money cycle that goes on with that none that I've ever benefited from but I see a whole lot of new representatives entering or get it, obtaining like putting their feet on fish island while I have something called I don't even know if I have a national guard because the last time they sent National Guard, it was not my nation. It wasn't even familial. But I'm on Fish Island, and I'm in my hometown of Queens at bay. And I'm a little confused why there's no Queens Guard if National keeps filling it the island up with multinational problems leaking over from Manhattan since they opened a UN building and there's a little too much of them in the us between my big brother, my little brother, and his little sister who didn't come from the same woman. So it's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cataruza. Here's what this looks like. Right now at 5.30, making do with what they have. NYCHA residents in Brooklyn have to innovate. They've been without gas for... I don't know what NYCHA is. N-Y-S-H-A. It's a New York State involved process. But again, I'm not quite sure who installed it, who's in charge of it, and how it operates. They also show not only the Brooklyn president who, who claims a heritage of Pakistani, um, which is a problem with aviation and the Roosevelt and some whatever, 
um, that the news put on not too long ago that I also made note of. Um, but they, but now I'll have, you'll have visual reference of what's claiming in this beseechment to be Pakistani, because I can't verify whether they are or not. I don't know if they are up to the standards of the people that live in Pakistan. They just claim here, but there's all sorts of false claims once they get here, so I don't really know how to verify that. Um, and then there's some NYS, New York State Assembly woman. No idea how she got that function. No idea how this dysfunctional system is running itself. It gets really confusing. And again, they don't... They've been running their own operation. I... Inside what and to whose standards, I'm not clear. Gas for cooking for weeks. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And welcome back here at 530. I'm Maurice Dubois. Whether it's a hot plate or donated meals, a Brooklyn community is stepping up to help each other. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports that their demands for NYCHA to take action are growing louder. When I came up to see it, that turned it on. I was like, what? No gas. Kathy Brown shows us the hot plate. She says NYCHA has given residents as a replacement for the gas being out of service. That runs strictly on electric. A friend gave her an electric cooktop. You have to make one thing at a time with this. The Brooklyn Borough President says everyone living in this building, part of the NYCHA O'Dwyer Gardens, has been without cooking gas since February. February 17, 22. I don't know what an O'Dwyer Gardens is. I don't know. I'm not part of real estate development and permits and the New York City. I mean, again, I don't even know how this mayor got elected or installed. I don't know who was involved in any of that. I don't even know where to begin to research it. If As long as Big Brother and Little Brother can look into things. February 17th. Have to come throw the guys back. It's just... Pains I have uh, certain for a father that I have to take care of, and this is a really major inconvenience. He only eats kosher food. I ended up calling Pays, which is the Pakistani uh, American Youth Society, and Pakistani American Youth Society. I did not know that Americans came in that label or or sound. Now, how did that happen? I know there's something called a, a, that something that claims to be an African and an American. There's something that claims to be a Latin and an American. There's something that claims to be a South and an American. How did we get Pakistani and American? When I already have a large genocide problem between the bloodthirsty venipunctures and health system growing out of control with quantum computing and with um, these um, outside laboratories being, everything being shipped to. With the healthcare system that was built by I don't know who, who pays for everything because they're collecting specimens for free and then larger pandemics are on the horizon little confused how and who's running this operation. Being that my feet are on Fish Island, I'm the girl with the pearl earring. I'm somehow, New York State's got some close triborough thing with Connecticut. I, I don't know, is Pennsylvania part of it? I thought it was Jersey. And told them there was an emergency. And they were like, we're sending a truck right now. Muslims Giving Back has been providing hot meals Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And today, members of... Now I'm confused. If I'm the benediction of Christianity, that is my virgin of the rock and virtue, how did a Muslim society make it and that those are like really dangerous words to even pronounce these days, according to New York City. And the amount of blasphemy on the television before this day occurred. But there's no hate. It's just a question on benediction. And it's a fish. It's a Jesus fish. How did 
different church make it on to this land. I mean, Mecca of a religion, a Mecca of a, a, like, whatever, a church. Why would a separate church want to enter a benediction land? That doesn't make any sense to me. What are they hoping to accomplish? of the Pakistani Law Enforcement Society handed out cooked turkeys. We all have to make sure nobody go, go to sleep hungry. The borough president and assemblywoman Matil Frontis say work was being done on the property and the gas line was hit by mistake. They've both been asking NYCHA to expedite repairs. What we're seeing sometimes, if you'll allow me to say, is a little finger pointing. It used to be that they were responsible for providing uh, the heat, the hot water, the cooking gas. Now, interesting enough, this is the woman's name. And this is, she's a Democrat, New York, that stands for New York State, it's an assembly, and it's in Brooklyn. Brooklyn used to be called Kings County before all of this frivolous whatever popped up without the law enforcement that I need getting involved. I mean... How do you ask for a Queen's Guard? Can you help him with his math homework? One minute. Looking guys for all the buildings. Now they share that responsibility with National Grid. And the borough president says NYCHA told him these... So collecting Monopoly pieces back, that's, that's an important whatever. And these residents may not have cooking gas for another three months. So How long can you go on like this for? Just give me a minute. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. The local reps say they've also been providing food for two other NYCHA developments called Sites 4 and 5 nearby that have been without gas since August of last year. In Coney Island, Brooklyn, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. Now, a spokesperson for National Grid says the company is waiting on NYCHA to make a repair so that it can restore service. NYCHA tells us it is securing a vendor to handle the initial stages of restoration. Today, Mayor Adams visited an East Village deli that's been... The now this ties into the last story because this is how they explain gas prices. It's a different form of gas, but they use the same word within my benediction fish island. Um, but there's big brother, little brother, communications, whatever with some kind of interference, which I'm not quite sure who's, I mean, there's some people that are coming on, I just don't know why it never seems to get resolved. Steady climb. Economist Leo Feller says it's caused by post-pandemic inflation, caused by supply chain interruptions, and the unsettled global market caused by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. I believe that's misleading and that's the wrong message. Gas prices hit a record average. Oh. Did you hear her? Gas prices. Whatever the gas price is, it doesn't really matter. This says national average. It's different every broadcast. Of more than $4. We're seeing big supply shocks, right? We're seeing oil prices go up. We're seeing wheat prices go up. Oil prices or gas prices? Because they use those two sounds interchangeably. And then, whatever. Well, Ukraine is the breadbasket of Europe, right? So there is a lot of concern that this is going to make an inflationary problem even worse. Some people I spoke with said they just started commuting again, so these gas prices have hit them hard. Uh See, she uses the word gas at the gas station. But gas for cooking gas is something different than the ethanol gas that comes from the gas station where you pump into the car. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cataruza. It is Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.